Hey guys, um, I'm probably gonna have to do this really quick because I have to wake up early. I don't have to, but I always do. Um, because it's like 11 20. But, anyways, I wanted to do a coming out video because, um, I know watching YouTube videos of coming out made me feel a lot. Com more confident about coming out to people and just you know so this video won't be edited because I can't figure out how to edit it and then change it to the right file and then put it on YouTube because it goes a fit every time if if I could figure it out I would have like five other videos up to here but I don't so that means I'm probably not going to be doing YouTube. Not that very many would feel, people would feel bad because I only have like two subscribers and one of them is my other account. So, anyways, um, unless I can find like do a video editing class at my high school, probably not doing. YouTube anymore. So, first off, um, it was always pretty obvious that I was gay. Um, like, I had Dora dolls that I would carry around all the time when I was a kid, and it was obvious that I was going to be different. Um, my dad was very homophobic back then, and he still kind of is, but, um, so he was kind of really, that kind of held me back from accepting myself a lot, because I, I remember one day I was crying to my mom because I, thought that I was gay and I told her that my dad wouldn't love me anymore and that I didn't want to go to hell I think and um yeah just basically all the rumors that people say um about gay people and that they're going to hell and that nobody loves them and wants them but, uh, growing up, I, there was always, like, two groups of guys. I thought there was, like, the sporty group, the athletic guys, and then the nerdy guys who, like, video games and Pokemon and stuff. Not that either one of those are bad, but, um... I just didn't like sports or video games or Pokemon or anything, so I just hung out with all the girls, and guys would call me gay and make fun of me, and it hurt my feelings a lot, but I didn't really know what gay was. Like, I knew it was two guys that like each other, but I didn't, like... Or a guy that likes a guy, but I just didn't really understand it. And then I went into sixth grade, and I thought that uh, I started thinking, well, what if I am gay? Like, so I'm like, no, 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 I can't be gay. Um, I gotta get a girlfriend so nobody will even think about it and that I'm like I just didn't want anyone to know because I thought it was such a bad thing and so I uh, I hit it and I didn't accept myself I was mad and sad all the time I got bullied in sixth grade I mean Nobody really bullied me this year because I look 
like buff and tough and stuff like that, but I don't know. But anyways, uh, so then we moved because my stepmom, my stepdad moved in with my mom and uh, we got the house that we're living in now and so I went to a totally different school and um, so far there I nobody really suspected I was gay because I was new I was it was just kind of a fresh start and then I went into seventh grade and I met the first gay guy I knew um, or the, yeah, and so, we talked, and, um, he's like, yeah, you're definitely, like, gay, or bi, or bi-curious, and I'm like, no, I'm not, and we got in a fight, and I deleted him from all my social media, um, tried to avoid him as best as I could at school. He was in a grade above me, so it wasn't that hard, except for going to the bus. And I remember, um, just, like, the awkwardness when he would walk up and talk to me. Like, I was just, like, acting like I didn't hear him talking to my friend, and... I just didn't want anyone to know, so that whole summer I thought about it. In 8th grade, I asked my friend, I'm like, hey, do you think it's cool if I come out as bi? Because, I mean, I like guys, but I like girls too. So, because I did back then, but not like, not how I liked guys. So I was just like, well, hey, if I'm bisexual, guys will, like, be more accepting about it. Haha, <laughs> no, that's not how it works. People think you're more confused. So, if you just, like, make sure you are bi or gay or whatever you are, if you come out, if you want to come out, you don't have to come out. You don't have to be labeled as anything. But when I did come out the first time, I said that I was by, um, my aunt messaged me after I put it up and said to take it down. I think she knew I wasn't by. I was, like, gay, or I just needed more time to think about it. So I did, um, and I remember the next day a kid at school called me, yelled out fag. And of course I thought he was talking to me. I mean, I never knew if he was talking to me or not. But of course I thought it was me because I just came out on the on Instagram. So and I just wanted to cry so bad. And so I come home I think I had to watch my brother, like, babysit my brother that night because my mom was going out with my aunt to dance or something, or to see people, uh, sing or something. I don't know, but then I texted her and I told her someone called me a fag today at school. And she got home and she's like, yeah. Your aunt told me about your Instagram posts that you're by. And so, I mean, she didn't really talk to me after that. And she's totally accepting because she knows I'm gay now. But, um, yeah, so we didn't really talk about it anymore. And, uh, so then I kind of. Well, then pe people started asking me more and more, and I'm like, yes, I'm bi. And they're like, so you like boys, too? And I'm like, yeah. And they're, 
I don't know, I just was like totally scared. And I mean now, if someone asks me if I'm gay, I'm like, yeah. But I think you just have to like get past all those people. Like it's really scary at the time, but then you'll look back and be like, why was I so scared? But anyways, um, I came out, well, I told my best friend that I was gay because, you know, I didn't really have any feelings for girls anymore, and I just liked guys, like, a lot, and so I came out to her, then I came out to my other close friends, and then I told my mom over text, because that's always what I do when it's something big and I feel like I can't tell her, so I just text it to her, and then we talk about it like the next day or something, I don't know. And so, yeah, we talked about it the next day, and it was really awkward, and I told myself that I was not going to talk about boys with her. And guess how many times I've broken that? A lot. Then, uh, I, I just kind of dealt with it, like the whole coming out. Um, a lot more people will be accepting than you th thought there would be would be um I remember I thought like everyone was gonna abandon me and nobody was gonna like me and really a lot of people like even became closer friends with me after I came out but I think that's mostly because I wasn't like hiding anything I was like me and I guess some people, it's not really, it wasn't really a thing at my school, the GBF, gay best friend thing, where people only want to be your friend because you're gay for popularity status or something, but nobody really did that in my school. And then, uh, so, I... One day, when we were working out, um, like after, cause my whole family goes, um, sometimes I like swim, I can't, I don't really know how to swim competitively, like, good, like I don't know the strokes very well, or how to breathe. Um, so I'm probably going to start up swim soon there, but anyways, sometimes I lift weights too, but, uh, so after the swimming, uh, aerobics thing, um, my, my stepdad met this one dude, like, in there that, so, we saw them outside, and we walked, we, I guess our cars were close to each other or something, so we started walking with them, and the guy asked my stepdad if we went to church, and he's like, no, not really, and the guy said, well, if you guys do need it, want a church to go to, James River is a really good church, and I'm just like, that's a good one, <laughs> because James River has like the most homophobic pastor I've ever seen or heard of and I just like I just couldn't imagine going there like I know I wouldn't be scared of the people but at the same time I just like I would probably take it personally but anyways um so we get in the car and my mom says to my stepdad you should have told him sorry we're not welcome my son's gay 
and I hadn't told him yet. I mean, he kind of knew, but I just didn't tell him yet, and I'm like, really? You just said that. And then, uh, yeah, so, that's how I came out to my stepdad, and he, he taught me, you know, if you treat gay as, like, all of you, like, I'm just gay. Mm -hmm. Bring those in unicorns. Um, then people are gonna treat you like that, and not very many people are gonna be like, woohoo, go Tyler. So, he's just like, just like, don't, like, don't treat being gay as all of you. Like, yeah, you're Tyler and you're gay, but you, like, I like music, I like plants, I like fish, I like, I like all these other things, and there's so much more to me than that. So, like, why hide all that and just put up that I'm gay? So, that's something to think about. Um, and then, so, last of all that I'm probably going to talk about today is my coming out to my dad, which happened, like, two or three days ago, and it wasn't very good. So, first off, probably shouldn't be saying any of this stuff on the internet, but I know it will help people more than it would hurt me, so I'm just going to say it. Me and my dad don't get along very well, and we never really have, and he, uh, he's Christian, and he, he's one of those people who uses the Bible to, against homosexuals, and, like, I don't know, he says that, he says that he's totally fine with it, like whatever floats your boat, but he thinks it's a choice, and so I posted this thing on Facebook because I was angry, and I just, I was just tired of hearing Christians use that like the Bible is an excuse to be against gay people so I did my research um, it wasn't a reliable source but it did have the right thing that I was looking for I guess um, like the story of Sodom and Gamora, I think that's how you say it, um, these, God sends these angels to go to this Sodom and Gomorrah, I think, like, the cities, and to see if there are any good people left there, because if there aren't, he's destroying the city, so, this man welcomes them into his home, makes dinner for them, and all of a sudden, all the men in the uh, city, the young, the old, show up and say, bring the men, I know how it goes exactly, but like, bring out the men who came to you tonight so we may have sex with them, and sex was, like, gang rape was a, uh, used as a humiliation and embarrassment like a way to embarrass people and humiliate them back then so I got that from the internet and so I make up this whole argument of that and then how like every verse that my dad gave to me that was against homosexuality was like a uh, 
only speaks of lust towards other men, not love. And so I put that on there. My steps stepmom's sister sees it, calls my dad. I'm at his house that weekend. They talk to me for like two, three hours and it was like the same thing over and over again and my dad's like oh being gay is a choice and I'm like you know what yes you have a choice to be yourself gay or be other people's idea of normal and the if you choose to be other people's idea of normal you are not being yourself and you can't change your true self you were made like that you were you're supposed to be that way and so I believe that you can be yourself or you can be other people's idea of normal and I choose to be myself and so, um, I'm trying to think of something else, but, um, this is getting really long, and so I'm going to have to end it pretty soon, but I just want you guys to know that if you, um, feel like you don't have anyone to turn to, you always do. And um, if you guys have any more questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer all of them. Um, if you want to answer or ask me questions on Twitter, my Twitter is TylerBates17. Um, and there is an Instagram page, an LGBT Instagram page that I'm a part of. I have been for about over six months, I think. And I'm one of the owners of the account. I didn't make it, but I have been on there since like the beginning. And um, it is L underscore G underscore underscore teams yeah um, here I'll look it up for you but you guys can always follow the account ask us questions on um, you know whatever if you need someone to talk to you can always talk to us this is the account uh, I'm not sure if this will focus But yeah, it's L G or L underscore G underscore B underscore teens. And not that like we tried to skip the transgender, it's just like a combination. Uh so I mean I didn't make the name, but that's what I'm guessing. But um you guys can always talk to me on there um and it's just you're not alone i mean there are probably a lot of other people in your school in your class that are going through the same thing but they don't know you're going through it and you don't know they're going through it so you can't you just got to get through, and then after you get through, there will be, I don't know how to explain it, you just, I don't know, it's just way more awesome to be yourself, and not have to have, like, other people who can relate to you and stuff, but, 
like I said, I gotta go, it's like 25 minutes now, and, uh, so, like I said, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, um, yeah, so, if there are a lot of questions, I will do another video about, like, questions, the questions, or, like, myths or something, I don't know, but it all just depends, so I will do that if you guys leave me questions, and just don't be afraid to be yourself, so see you guys later.